Well guys, fantastic result today, 4-2 at home. I'll start with you Jay, you must be incredibly delighted with today's performance. Yeah, I thought the boys were fantastic. It was a great to bounce back from Tuesday night, um, play top of the table uh, and come away with a win like we did. I thought, to a man, I thought they worked their absolute socks off today. Um, the work rate, the desire to get those three points, I think it shone through at the end. Um, and I know you'll probably touch on it you know, a bit later in the interview, but I thought the subs made a massive impact when they came on. Um, and it's really refreshing to see that, that the squad depth is so good that no matter how we change it around, um, we can affect the game. Gary, we, we, uh, to touch on what Jay's just spoken about there, I mean, we, we spoke about it on Tuesday, I mean, uh, the, the in-depth, and as Jay rightly said today, um, you made a lot of substitutions, actually, pretty much all at the same time, but they were positive uh, changes and clearly had a, a big impact on the end result today. Yeah, we knew today we would need 16 men to go and win a game, um, and they did that. All five subs made a massive impact. Um, but that's the beauty of our bench when, when you look around and you see players like them Pope um, and Reggie and, and Lou and the spark that Joe can give you and, and Elliot to come on and, and turn the game, turn the tide really because five minutes either side of half time we were a bit flat um, and we just felt making three changes would, would alter something um, which it ultimately did and, and turned out to be the match winners. I mean, the first half, Jay, um, we, we started very brightly and, and from, from where I was looking, we, we looked after the ball very, very well um, and to get right up to 45 minutes with a 2-0 lead, um, disappointing that we conceded a, a soft goal, I suppose, um, right, so right on the bang of half-time. That, that must have been a bit frustrating going in and probably change your team dog a little bit, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it does a little bit. Um... But it's also hitting home when you're doing half-time team talk about things that have gone well for you and continuing to do them and be persistent with them because sometimes when you, when you play, um, if something's working well for you, why, why change it? Um, so, yeah, it was a little bit disappointing to concede the goal just before half-time, but we've got to remember we're playing the league leaders here as well and, you know, as, as much as we you know very, very good and we scored two good goals, they're going to have chances. Um, and I think they did have a couple of chances and Will pulled off some fantastic saves. Um, but we're playing, when you're at the top of the table and you're playing good sides like that, there are going to be chances either end. Um, but I think we managed the game very well and first half, I think the goals that we scored, we worked them well, got in good areas for it um, and good finishes. So yeah, I'm pleased with it. Um, Gary, to, um, to, go, to go back to two all, again we talk about the positive impact the subs made. Um, but from a, from a results point of view, to go to all, probably you know, the mental attitude of the guys was incredibly pleasing for you guys, I'm sure, the fact that it didn't change the way they wanted to play, you know, we kept pressing and clearly were rewarded with um, two very, very good goals. One from poor old Ben with his uh, bandage on his head, but we'll come, we'll come back to that shortly. But, but again, you must have been delighted that, we, you know, it's a positive response, even conceding the two goals to get to two all. Yeah, it's been a positive few days ever since Tuesday. Uh, we met as a team on, on Thursday, we analysed the game, we went through some clips, um, we agreed as a unit. Uh, that, that we were going to adapt things and we were going to try and be a bit braver on the pitch. Um, I think we saw that. Um, even when we did concede just before half-time, the boys went in, took responsibility. There was no screaming and shouting, no blame culture. Everyone took on board and, and we adapted to what we needed to do. Um, obviously, we started slow second half, which, which wasn't ideal, but we asked them to be brave, be aggressive, and, and even at 2-2, we found that um, and I think even though tactically we still we still got work to do and, and we think this group can go, one thing that's never been in question is the character of the group. Um, they, they have been top class since day one um, and, and that win today is because of, of the character we've got in that dressing room. Um, we're currently fourth in the league and, and Jay you touched earlier the fact that we played a team at the top of the league. Um, I know it's early days so we can't get too excited but you know where you, are we where you thought we would be at the start of the season or, or do you think we probably exceeded expectations and, and you're incredibly pleased that we're sitting in fourth at this point? I'm not going to talk about league position but I'm going to talk about faith that we have in the squad that we've brought in and I think that's the sensible way of going around this now. I'm not looking forward, I'm not looking, I'm just looking at how we can get better each week and with the squad that we have and the players that we have, we'll keep pushing, they keep pushing the standards themselves as well. We've been training taking on information, like Gaz just mentioned a minute ago, we, we still know we've got two or three levels to go in terms of the way we want to play and implement everything we want to do. You've got to remember as well, this is still a fairly new squad at the start of the season and we're only, what, seven games in, into the league. So there should be a lot more to come from us. 
Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of twists and turns as, as it goes, but we're confident that we've got a good group of players that can carry out our wishes on the, on the pitch. Great squad depth that can carry out, so we're going to get injuries. I mean, if you look behind the goal today, um, you've probably seen half a team there that could have gotten pretty much any sort of step four side. Um, probably some in step three as well. So we, 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 we're happy with where we are and what we've got. Um, and the change room is a good change room. And they will lead each other forward as well as us pushing them as well. Um, unfortunately, Ben got injured during the game today. It looked like a nasty um, uh, clash of heads. Unfortunately, the Beckenham guy had to go off and, and, and uh, receive treatment and didn't come back on. Ben got bandaged up by Chloe um, and, well, in, incredible that he, he heads the ball forward with a big bandage on his head to score a goal. But how is he? And hopefully it's not a, a, an injury that's going to keep him out maybe no, Tuesday. No, yeah, Ben's absolutely fine. And, and, and I'd say, testament to him, he's one of the very few players in this league that, that would actually get up and then go and score that goal. Um, you know, he's earning a bit of a reputation for flattening people um, <laughs> at the moment. But, um, yeah, no, that, it, it, it's just just shows the sign on the man in, in terms of that I don't think we, we were ever in question that he was going to come off um, but then to go and react the way he did and still put himself around the way he did is, is just testament to him. Absolutely. Um, we now move on to, to Tuesday, uh, not a league fixture in the Cup, the Sussex Senior Cup, Crober at home. Um, what's what's your approach going to be guys to, to, to that? Obviously we're playing a team that playing a, a step below us um, so is the, is the approach going to be exactly the same as always? Yep. Yeah, one hundred percent. We we we've we played teams step below us before, and we've got caught. Sh well, we'll come up short um, on them. Crowbar won two 0 today, I believe. Uh, looking at the results, and Sussex Senior Cup is something that we want to compete in. We want to be up there, and we want the fans to look forward to that. It's, it's a big thing, Sussex Senior Cup, um, and some good teams in it as well. So, in order to, to, to progress through it, you've got to turn up and be at the races. So. We will take nothing lightly against Cobra, and we know Cobra are a decent side as well. So they're not going to come here and just be a walkover. They're going to come and fight, and you know, try and get an upset. So we got, you know, we've got to be fully on it, and uh, we we'll, we'll go strong against them. Brilliant. Well, good luck on Tuesday. But again, guys, absolutely fantastic result today, and you know, let's uh, let's hope we can keep that position fourth, and if not, even better. Yeah. Cheers Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cheers, guys.